converting fractions to decimals using division. First off, 3 over 8. That's the same as 3 divided by 8. So I can use this method. Put the 8 on the outside, 3 on the inside. First off, how many 8s go into 3? Well, that's none. And I have a remainder of 3. So I carry my 3 into the next column, put a 0 down. So now I'm looking at having 30 tenths. So how many 8s go into 30? Well, that's 3, because 3 8 is 24. And I have a remainder of 6. OK, carry that again, put a 0 down. Now, how many 8s are in 60? Well, that's 7. And that's 56, so I have a remainder of 4. Okay, finally, how many 8s are in 40? And that's 5. It's finally because I have no remainder this time, so I know I'm done. So 3 over 8 is equal to 0 0.375. Okay, next we're going to look at how this works with recurring decimals. So we'll start off with a third and that's equal to 1 divided by 3. So again using this method 3 on the outside 1 on the inside. So how many 3's are in 1? That's none and I have remainder 1. Okay, Carry that one along how many 3's go into 10? That's 3, remainder 1. Again, how many 3 is going to 10? 3, remainder 1. How many 3 is going to 10? 3, remainder 1, and so on and so on. You can see we're going to carry on forever. So our answer is 0 0.3 recurring, and I'll put a dot over my 3 to show that that's a recurring number. OK, let's look at a slightly more difficult one. 8 over 11. So again, that's equal to 8 divided by 11. So the 11 goes on the outside, and the 8 on the inside. How many 8s go into 11? That's none. Carry my 8. So how many 11s go into 80? That's 7, and I have remainder 3. How many 11s go into 30? That's 2, remainder 8. How many 11s go into 80? We know that 7 remainder 3 and so on and so on and so on so this time I have 7 and the 2 recurring so I write 0 0.72 with a dot over the 7 and a dot over the 2 for reference you put dots over the end numbers of the parts that recur so 0 0.123 123 123 one, two, three, and so on, would be written as 0 0.123 with a dot over the 1 and a dot over the 3, because that is the ends of the parts that recur.